the only thing you will say now is that it is love. It's exactly what it is. Love. Oh, please, put that to the birds. Melody, I see no love in this. All I see is stupidity, foolishness, and above all, lack of common sense. Are you trying to insult me? How do I fall down to the same thing I've been saying? How would you marry a man without no job? Melody, have you even thought about what people will say about this your decision? Oh, please, Mary. I want to be given a break on this issue. The decision on who I intend to spend the rest of my life with is my business and no other person. How am I even sure that this guy has not used something on you? <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny at all. I don't know what you mean by that. This is me. I met this guy by chance, and he has proved to me that he is a man. Yeah, right. I even took him to my mother, she demanded. And she handed me over to him as his wife. We are planning our wedding. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why you're kicking against us. <laughs> Melody, your mother has just handed you over to a liability for her husband. <laughs> and you're not even bothered about it. Why do you want to destroy yourself? Please, just try and listen to me for once in your life. I beg you, please. Forget the fact that he has no job. Mm -hmm. He has all the qualifications. And I know that with time he would get a job. I am getting married to him because I believe that he has a bright future. Oh, there she comes again with the future thing. <laughs> Melody, your father will be cussing you in his grave for this you stand. Trust me. Oh, please. Just leave my late father out of this. I'm not trying to run you father, but I'm not just comfortable with this. This is your decision. Please try to listen to me. I, I brought you to this town because the opportunity is here. Hmm? You lived in my house and you lacked nothing. You left this very house without notice. And you're back telling me you want to get married? I think it's it too. I'm sorry, so sorry I left that way, okay? But, you see, a man must move on. Hmm? You're my friend, and there's no way I'm going to do my wedding without telling you. Chidi, why are you destroying yourself? Hmm? Why would you be thinking of getting married when you, when you have no job? I mean, how in this world do you think of, of coping when you have no means of livelihood. See, Kizito, I went for her because I love her. She's working and I trust her, absolutely. 
<laughs> we're going to live on her salary till I start working. Chidi! Oh, this is ridiculous. Did you hear yourself? I, I can't believe you're the one saying this. That you are going to live on the salary of a woman? That yeah, she live on you instead? Should I live on you instead, Kizito? See, man, I have moved on. I have moved on with the one I love. You have moved on. Kill yourself. You are dead wrong when you said you have moved on. On the contrary, you have placed yourself on reverse. Yes. And you have brought shame to your family. I mean, that is not the way of the Igbo man. The Igbo man fends for his wife. The Igbo man catars for his family. How could you move in with a woman and you have the ghost to tell me that you will be living on a salary? See, Kizito, see, Kizito, Kizito, forget all these things you're saying. Just forget it, eh? We love each other and I know we can cope. You are the only true friend I have. Put yourself and support me. Or are you going to turn me down? <sighs> Achidi, if I will advise you, cancel this wedding. Yes, cancel this wedding and come back to this house. Come back and replan your life. Everybody wants me to cancel the wedding. Everybody's against me, even my own mother. See, Chidi, I want you to compose yourself and be the only one that will support me. Sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. I don't want anybody that will make me start hating Melody. Or say anything that will make me start hating Melody. Please. She's all I have. but he's not picking. That has been my fate for days now. My son no longer picks my calls. 
It's obvious he has made up his mind to marry that girl. Eh? Why is it that it's my own son that will not listen to his mother? Sister, it's okay. I want you to calm down and allow me and all this. If you say so, but I just don't understand it. Would he even answer you if you call him? Do you know he took some people to her village to go and pay her bribe? Turn my son into a vegetable. That's alright. Do you have his address in Asaba? I can travel to Asaba first thing tomorrow morning to see him. Yes, not, I can do that for you. You're not even listening to what I'm telling you. My son has no address. He has no address in the city nor in the village. Akadanga Mom has moved into a woman's house. The woman he wants to marry, he moved into her house. Eh? What do people even say when they hear that my own son moved into a, 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 a woman's house? My sister, it's okay. I perfectly understand how you feel. But I think there is something we are overlooking here. Yes. For a woman to accommodate a man in a house in these modern times, it is very, very possible that they are seriously in love with each other. Yes. Thomas, is that how you married? Did you, mar did you not marry in the modern times? Is that how you married? Look at my handsome boy that graduated with second class upper. A good foundation was laid for him and he did well. Now he turns around to embarrass me. It's okay, it's all right. Okay, uh, uh, excuse me, let me give him a call and see. If it will pick. If it will answer you now. Let me give it a try. What I am. It's ringing. It's ringing. It's not the ringing. It's the picking up that is the problem. Uh, uh, Chidi, how are you? Yes, Uncle, I'm fine. It's just that I'm having problems with my mom. I know, I know. Uh, uh, but Chidi, what is this thing I'm hearing? That you no longer pick your mother's calls. Why? Yeah, because you don't want to pick her calls. Because the more I explain, the more I get her hot. But, uh, Uncle, Uncle, you understand. You understand. I originally don't but now it's clear to me that you're the only one I can talk to. Now listen to me. I am not going to pretend as if I don't know what the problem is. Yes. In fact, as I speak to you now, your mother is here with me. Do you understand? I perfectly understand how your mother feels. She's feeling pains. Baba. Uncle, my mother feeling bad is... She's feeling bad for nothing. And she has the fear of God. Uncle, I love her. Uh, but, 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 Chidi, come to think of it. Why would you think of getting married when you are still unemployed? Why? Thank you. That is not the way you were taught back at home. Why, why did you do that? Uncle, unemployment rate is high in Nigeria. It's not my fault. But I know that someday I am going to get employed. I just want my mother. have this understanding. At least she's earning some salary. I can depend on that till I get employed. It's okay. Uh, that is by the way. Where can I see you tomorrow as I come to Asaba? Where? Uncle, are you coming to Asaba with my mother tomorrow? You see, that is what I'm trying to avoid. I don't want my mother's problem. Please, Uncle. Uh, no, no, no. You're, you are getting it all wrong. I am not coming with your mother. I am coming alone. Yes, I want us to see face to face. It will do us a lot of good. Uh, yes, yes. Can you please send me your address? Okay, after this call, I'll send the address to you. Oh, very good, very good. I, I, I'll be waiting. Okay, thank you, sir. It's okay, it's okay. Bye. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
he said he's gonna send me his address that means i'll be traveling first thing tomorrow morning to asaba to see him one on one sister i i want to tell you this with all amount of sincerity i trust your son chidi chidi will not be wasting his time with that girl if she is not good enough for him did chidi t tell you why he has not been picking my calls he did not say that but I'm thinking seriously that he's trying to be the good boy that he has always been. He knows that you will not listen to him whichever way he tries to explain it. And he doesn't want you to continue feeling bad. Sister, I want you to please calm down as I have advised you already. And allow me to handle it from here. Things are going to be good. It's okay, don't worry yourself again. They're talking about me. They say we shouldn't be together. Sister Melody, the church does not encourage wastages. And that is why I have agreed to wed both of you. I invited you here just to be sure that he has your consent in his plans. He has my consent, Father. We have actually agreed to do a private for them. In fact, we have printed out our invitation cards for just 15 people. Well, he told me that his mother is taking against the wedding. It's not as if we cannot wait both of you without his mother. But I wanted to make more efforts as to win the heart of your mother in law. I understand, Father. And I am doing everything within my powers to make her see that we are both in love. And I know that all this would end soon. My daughter, I love your faith. But you must understand that faith without works is dead. You must try to win the heart of that woman. It will help you. Okay, Father. I will do my best. All right then. Father John and he advised me to make sure that I get my mother-in-law's consent that's why I'm going you see baby it's not that I'm trying to ask you to disobey the priest but I wouldn't want you to go I understand your fears same argument that your mother is very difficult and has refused to see the love that binds us together. Baby, I believe that we will be able to make her see reason with us. Besides, we're already married. Melody, hmm? sweetheart, I know my mother very well. She is my mother and I know her very, very well. She will make sure you regret that trip. I tell you. <laughs> That's not a problem. If I go to her and then she drives me out, I will cry. And just a few reasons with me. Mm -hmm. My love, all that are unnecessary. Uncle Thomas, my mother's younger brother. He is the only one she listens to. Yeah, and you know what? He's coming to our home tomorrow. And I've already sent him the address. Mm -hmm. 
different in the address. So it's better we wait for him to come than you going to see my mother. Mm. Mm -hmm. So do you think that Uncle Thomas can convince your mother to attend the wedding? Mm, I don't know, but I trust him. I trust him, yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, let's assume it's your brother. Would you encourage him to do what he's doing right now? Uh, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. I asked him to cancel the wedding. Yes. And to return to my house. I mean, he doesn't have a job. And he cannot manage a marriage. I understand it, yes, sir. He is jobless. But I am working. We are man and wife. And that makes us one. Why do I have those feelings that you want to destroy the life of this young man? GD Ibezem is an Igbo man. And Igbo men are known for taking good care of their wives. Please, do not force him to live the life of those who allow women to take care of them. Because if you have pinned him down, With all due respect, sir, that is an uncharitable statement. And it's not fair. Look who is talking of fairness. You that wants to destroy the life of a young man? Are you talking of fairness? Kizito, what I what I what I telling my wife? Oh, you're there. Oh, I see. This is nice. Anyways. I just told your wife the same truth I told you and you refused to take it. And what's the truth? That your practice is not in line with the practice of our people. Oh yes. You are not the one getting married to that woman. Rather she is the one marrying you. And believe me, sooner or later she will destroy you. See, look is it let that be my headache, right? Let it be my headache. And if you continue to sound that lead like this, I will tell you to stop calling us. Do you understand me? You can equally decide not to come to the wedding. If you know what is good for you, you better not call this call. I will call the call. You think you're advising me? I don't need it. Do you understand me? What's that? Chidi! Chidi! Chi! Rubbish. Listen to Uncle Thomas and I have explained everything to him. I understand why you are angry. You believe I don't know what I am doing. And you believe I don't have no plans for my future. I wish to tell you most sincerely that I know what I am doing. What I share with Melody is love. I do not have a job presently. But that does not mean I am not making effort to be employed. I know I will be employed soon. Understand that Melody loves your son. This is why she cut us for me. She believed that things would turn around for better. And she always praying for me. She deserves your love and blessing. If not for anything, love her because she loves your son without minding the fact that he has nothing. I am telling you today that she can lay down her life for your son. We are waiting finally. 
in the private chapel of St. Joseph Church in Asaba on the 27th of this month. Please attend the wedding as my mother that loves me and make me happy forever. I love you, Mom, and I will never let you down. Sister, I have interacted with them and I believe that you judged that woman in a hurry. She is a noble woman, the very definition of humility, and above all, she loved your son so, so dearly. I think we should give them a chance. Wow, this is so... Well, I believe you. Yes. I met them, and I saw love. The love I saw is the agape kind of love. All the need is our support. And I must say this in no uncertain terms, that your son Chidi is making every effort to see that he is employed. And by the special grace of God, I believe that God will answer his prayers very soon. That was... Will you be attending the wedding? Of course he is. I will be attending with you. It's like I said before, all they need is our support. And that we shall give to them. Yes, we shall be going together. It's okay. <laughs> Melody, what I had yesterday was a revelation. <laughs> and I want you to listen, think, and do what is right. If this revelation of yours has anything to do with Chibi, then I will immediately tell you that I am not interested. Melody, you may choose not to listen to every other thing, but trust me, not this revelation, because it boils down to your life. That crazy you're about to get married to will eventually abandon you. And I saw it clearly. He denied you before everybody. And you were even crying like a baby. Finally, you decided to take your own life. Oh, please. Can you just spare me with all these cock and boo stories? Oh, Melody, they are no cock and boo stories. It's obvious you're in love with a gold digger. That will eventually abandon you. Left for me, you know what I think? I think you should just pick up your phone, call him, and tell him you're no longer interested in this marriage. I possibly cannot tell him that. Because I am very much interested in the marriage. The same marriage that will force you to commit suicide. Ah, Melody, a beautiful lady like you should be looking for men with class. Men that know how to spoil their ladies with love, gifts, and above all, attention. Come to think of it, why do you want to crucify yourself with this low life? You can call him whatever name you feel like calling him. I have made up my mind to love Chidi and love him alone. I will go on with the wedding and you, my friend, are invited to the wedding. That's if you want to attend. The wedding will hold and you will still be my friend. What has it done to you? You know, this is not you, Melody. Why do you want to enter an open grave? Um, I have a lot of work to do, and I really need to concentrate. I don't get that. Are you asking me to leave your office? At least we're not on break time. I'll be. Uh, hi. second class upper in industrial chemistry from a reputable university in Nigeria. Why can't I get a job? Why? Why? Huh.
Manu. I know what you're thinking. Your inability to get a job is beginning to weigh you down. And I am not going to let that happen. I... My love, I appreciate your noble concern, but I wonder what you're going to do. I wonder. Here's my salary. Accept my offering, which I will give to God. Salary. You are the head of this house and you should be in charge of every monetary aspect. This is just our family income and you should decide how we are going to spend it. Chidi could never have made a better choice. Oh, it is a beautiful knowing that you are the one saying this at last. In fact, it took me a few seconds of close interaction with them to know that that girl is the best woman for your son. You know, he's still unemployed. And yet, she's standing by him solidly. Doing everything, providing, and you won't even know. Of course, yes. Melody takes care of the house. Everything. Everything. She treats Chidi like a child. Hey. Even I wouldn't have done that for my late husband. Oh. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> but every day, I pray for them. I pray that she would get pregnant. Ah, <laughs> but you know that pregnancy is a gift from God that only comes when He approves of it. But right now, I think Chidi is so busy and preoccupied with his plans of getting employment that he may not be thinking of pregnancy. Mm. Yes, I think we should just allow them to redefine themselves. Hi, baby. Mm. <laughs> oh. You look sweet. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. I know, um, right? What is it for? Part of the money you gave me last night. It's your money. It is not my money. It is your money. <laughs> okay. It's our money. Better. Our money. 
So I thought you should have it. It's twenty thousand naira. In case you see anything you like, I'll keep the rest. Okay, okay, okay. As your lordship pleases. Yes, I don't mind. I love you. I love you too. You mean the world to me. I have to leave now. It's okay. Do have a nice day, okay? You too, baby. Bye. No one, no one could ever be like you. And now that we are finally married, you would have stopped all this. Melody, how can I ever stop? It's so clear to me now that you've lost your head. I have not lost my head. Nelly, why is it that every time we meet, the only thing that you discuss is my husband? And that is because I don't see him as a husband. Melody, you know, if anybody would have told me way back in school that <laughs> Miss Melody Opunka would end up being an unreasonable woman that would make her salary and hand it over to a cretin, trust me, girl, I won't believe it. Nelly, this is the second time that you are calling my husband a cretin, and I want it to be the last. The salary is mine, and I am his. If I decide to spend all my salary on him, it's my business. Um, Melody, uh, okay, fine. But, um, there was this pathetic story <laughs> Emeka GF posted on Facebook. Did you read it? I have too many things on my mind. I don't have time for Facebook. Based on what I got from that story, I can tell you that Chidi is just a time bomb waiting to explode. <laughs> Melody, and trust me, that explosion would tear you into smithereens. Nelly, let that be my headache. I am doing everything I am doing because I love him. If he decides to betray me, I'll join the list of other women who get betrayed by the ones they love. It's no news. At this point, I just say it's your choice because I think I've done so much. Thank you.
What's wrong? Thank God. Thank God it's a dream. If it was real, I could have been a dead man. <sighs> What was the dream about? The most important thing is that you're here as my wife. Let's go in and sleep. your certificates this morning. Um, sweetheart, during that time of infamous strike of university lecturers that lasted for one year, I used that opportunity to get a diploma in event planning and management. So since the white collar job is not coming up, <laughs> I thought I should use the certificate and start up something. But you told me you don't like venturing into business. My dear, things have changed. huh? My dream in life is to major in white collar job, but since it's not coming, I have to use the certificate that I have. So, just wish me luck, because I know what I'm doing. Of course. I know you know what you're doing, and I wish you good luck in anything you decide to do, okay? I know you will succeed. That's the spirit. Thank you very much. I am very happy. Okay, now, are you going to tell me about the dream you had? Are you looking at your time? You'll be late for work. Babe, I saw the look in your face. And I am very sure that it's a bad dream. See, I'm not trying to scare Come you. on, baby, tell me about it. Okay, okay. I don't mean to scare you with my terrible dreams, but thank God, it has turned to be a mere dream. Just go to work. You'll be late. Okay, okay. But promise me you will tell me as soon as I return. Just go to work. I'll tell you. Just go. Just go. Just go. Okay. Um, the breakfast is on the table. Okay? You don't need to tell me. Because I know you always prepare my meal before you go to work. <laughs> I'll eat later, okay? Mm. <laughs> Take care of yourself, right? You too, bye. I love you. Love you too.
For your consent, sir. I don't know what happened. My car just stopped working. Oh, uh, you got a mechanic? Yeah. Okay. Can I be of help? Thank you, sir, but I'll be fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Pretty dumb, sir. It's all like me. I don't often do this, but I just want to help. Thank you. Oh, um, excuse me. I'm talking to you when you're working out. Pretty dumb, so I can take you to wherever you want. Okay. Yeah, it's a long. Can you, can you please just come and help me? Yes, I'll wait for you, and then you come. What's up? Where are you? Um, I'm home, but I'm on my way to the International Conference Center. Why do you ask? I was going through the mails this morning and I noticed you, you have a letter. Oh, really? Letter from who? Let's see. Let me see. Okay, Escon Petrochemicals Limited. Do you have anything to do with this company? Um, I've written letter to all the chemical companies in this country. What did the letter say? Oh, I didn't open it. Anyways, I'll be on my way to Lagos for the next couple of minutes. I will just drop this with my security man, so when you come over, you can pick it up from him. You don't need to give it to the gate man, okay? Just wait for me, I'll be there in 30 minutes time. 30 minutes? I doubt if I'll still be around in 30 minutes anyway. But please, hurry up. Kiss it, I'm on my way. Just wait for me, please, please. Please, just wait for me, okay? Please. All right, man. Yeah. See you.
What now? A man that introduced himself as Mr. Vested is here to see you. Should I let him in? Mr. Vested? I have never heard that name before. That was the name he gave. Is he here for business? So he said. Okay, let him in. Okay, thank you, madam. Because he's not gainfully employed. He said it's fault that the Nigerian government is doing nothing to cut down the unemployment rates. He's doing everything he can to get employed. And I am standing by him. There are many men that I met. Just like the one that left here. I knew him before now. This man sits on money. I mean, he's the priest of Umuri. If such a man is interested in getting married to you, why don't you marry him and forget the unemployed man? You'll be happy. Mr. Bright, is this not why they say silence is golden? Most people are honorable when they keep their mouth shut. You have showed me your thoughts and your reasoning. And I can see how morally bankrupt you are. I mean, I won't have you insult me because I'm telling you the truth. I love Chidi. And that's why I married him. For better 
and for worse. If you like, get the richest man in this country to be interested in me. I will never betray the love that I have for Chidi. Okay? I'm done with you, Mr. Bright. Get back to work. Everybody's talking about you. They're talking about me. They say we should be together. They just don't know how I love you so. I give my life to you. Your application letter, dated the 17th day of June 2013, refers. We are delighted that you consider our company competent enough to engage a highly qualified young man like you. We have gone through your resume and we write to inform you that we have documented your application. We do this only for those we intend to employ in the future. As we acknowledge the merit in your application, we regret to inform you that we cannot engage you presently. But be assured by this letter that if in the future we start to employ people again, that your application will be given priority attention. Thank you in advance for your anticipated understanding. Sincerely yours for Escon Petrochemicals Limited, Mr. Igwe Kechu. Chidi, what is it? Well, are you not okay with the employment of offered you? They didn't offer me any job. Rather, they wrote to acknowledge my application and they say they will get back to me when they start employing. I don't know why they should write something like this. They, I prefer they, they keep silent, just like every other company I've written to. <sighs> Chidi, sit down, okay? Come on, have a seat. See, if you ask me, I think this is a nice one. This is a plus for you. Because this responsible organization that has the courtesy of, of acknowledging your, your application, I, I believe they will, they will do just as they have promised, yes. Kizito, I am sick and tired of all these promises. I want to start working and earn my own money. Do you understand what I mean? I want to, I want to touch my money. I want to earn my own money. I want to, I want to earn my own money. And uh, I must admit that I'm treated. Who is this, please? Oh, uh, my jewel of inestimable value. My pretty doctor, I told you I am going to call you. My name is Mr. Vested. Sophist it to say that you are now at the center of my heart. And I want you to know that someone may die of heart attack if it's being turned down. Listen, I am not going to ask you where you got my number from. Because I know how desperate men like you can be. But from the way you sound, I can tell that you're Leonard. Oh, you can say that again. I attended the best secondary school in nature. But in the 90s when Jam decided to frustrate their forefathers, not me. I came out with flying colors as a matter of fact and did my first oil contract in Mombasa, south in Kayambu. So you can see that I'm very metered. Good. And I am sure you know exactly what it means when a lady says she needs to be left alone. Oh, my pretty damsel. 
You're getting the point wrong. He doesn't contribute anything to your life. And that makes you alone and extremely lonely. Come, give me time. Give me a chance. Let me make your life better. I am very loaded and financially equipped. If you continue to pester me like this, I will have no other choice but... It bothers me. When you don't, you don't like me, relationship matters talks to you and you don't listen. That woman's phone has been engaged because she has been talking with her boyfriend. You won't believe it. That's a fat lie. That's a fat lie. Melody is a child of God. And she has no boyfriend. And she cannot do such a thing. Oh boy, why are you talking like a child? Eh? Grow up! Say, so she finally switched off her phone because he's busy with that man. Possibly in one hotel room. She has to please the man now. She needs concentration. She has to, she has to hit the man. Yes, to have him drop some money. And you are here, you're telling me that yes, she is a Christian. She is a Christian. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that's what she does all the time. And that is why she has the audacity to throw her salary on your freaking face. I love Melody with all my heart. Why is she doing this to me? Why? You cost it yourself. Of course, you cost it yourself. I ask you to remain here. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't listen to me. You packed in with a woman because you believe you have seen everything that you needed in a woman, in her. Now, where has it landed you? Hmm? Where has it landed you? The same woman you love is messing around just to put food on your table. In fact, you are a big disgrace. In fact, you are a disgrace to our next ending. I'm telling you. My love, is everything all right? Your phone was very busy all day. And later it was turned off. So I became worried. What's happening? My love, please sit down. Please. It's been a very bad day for me. <sighs> On my way to work, my car stopped working. The one man offered me a ride, which I declined. 
I finally found a way to get to the mechanic and I gave him the key which he promised to fix the car. But when I got to work, this same man who offered me a lift came here and was talking trash. So I walked him out of my office. So, how did he get to know your office? I don't know. It's still a mirage to me. He knew my name, your name, he even had my phone number and our address. I don't know how he knew. He's been the one engaging my phone, so I have to turn it off. And what is the name of this man? He, he called himself Mr. Sylvester. And also said his friends called him Mr. Vested. Turn your phone on. I'm sure he's the one calling me. He's been calling me with different numbers. Take the call and put it on speaker. Okay. You are a big girl, Melody. You are not treating my interest with maturity. With all due respect, sir, I told you I'm married and I'm living happily with my husband. Why are you still calling my phone? And what do you mean by interest? <laughs> I have told you before that you are not married. You are just caged in sorrow and agony by that jobless low life. Divorce that man today and be my wife. I know you need a standard girl. I asked you to send me your account number so I could remit one million naira to you. And you cut the call and put your foot off. I now realize that one million naira did not move you. If you could, get rid of that hangover you call a husband and be my wife. This is what I have been going through all day. He keeps calling me with different numbers. I have never met this man in my entire life. what you're passing through all because I have no job I understand the insult you're receiving every day because you married me Thank you so much, my love. Your visitors really helped me out. You have to turn your phone on. You can never tell when a good call will come in and you will miss it because of this man. Even if he calls, just pick the call. Don't say anything. Don't even listen to him. Maybe from there, he will caution himself. Okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. Bye. 
Thank God for the kind of man I married. How many men will understand? Why are you trailing me? What do you mean by trailing you? See, I don't know about that, but I think we're going the same direction. The same direction? What do you mean by that? See, I am going home, and I don't want you to follow me home. Do you understand? I'm going down there to see my uncle. I don't know what you mean by follow you home. Okay then, you can continue. Continue to where you're going to now. Again. <laughs> You're acting like a schoolboy. But you know what? I like men like you. So, can we be friends? I mean, can I have your number? No, we can't be friends. I am married. I'm not interested in such act. So, you really think that being a married man will prevent you from having some small, small fun? Small fun. Can you continue to see your uncle? Why am I even here talking to you? I'm sure you don't want to turn a fine girl down. you bring him to me. I don't want to ever set my eyes on him. Madam, why now? Why? For bringing him to you today, he gave me 10,000 Naira, almost my salary. And that is the highest tip I have ever received since I started working here. That is your business. I don't want to be part of it. If you ever usher that man into my presence again, I will write a memo to the GM on that. He is an intruder and should be treated as one. Am I understood? Very well, ma'am. Very well, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please. Can we? Hello. Are you there? Say something to me, my paragon of beauty. I really want us to reach to a compromise today. I really want us to arrive to our understanding. Baby, 
Hello? Angel? Sweetie? Hello? Baby? Angel, say something to me. Hello? All this temptation are coming to us simply because I'm not employed. This time around, I'm going to travel. And I believe that something is going to happen. And I was not stop searching until something is achieved. Where are you traveling to? Honey, I've taken census of all the chemical companies in this country. I will travel from state to state. It has not paid me sitting at home. I will sit at home and wait for them to write me. I have to go to them. But I strongly believe that this time around that something is going to happen after the trip. I thought you said you wanted to pursue a career in events planning and management. Yeah, I changed my mind again. I'll settle for that if after this trip nothing happens. Yeah. Let me make the trip first. Okay. Man makes man to be evil and wicked. I know you, I, I believe you know what that means. Who are you? My name is Chidi Bezu. The woman you've been disturbing since morning is my wife. And I'll ask you to stop digging your grave. What do you mean by digging my own grave? Are you threatening me or what? I'm aware of the offer you made to her to dump me and marry you. And I'm fully aware that she has told you that she's not interested. Are you still disturbing her? Look, young man, I'm warning you. This time around, you're not going to face the woman, you're going to face me. He would listen to me. You don't need to get yourself all worked up. I have given my heart to you. And nothing or no one can change it. simple as she told me don't tell me you are scared I am not scared from all I have seen the lady in question loves the husband and the husband loves her too and can hit at anything that wants to come in between them Nelly I was wondering why you would ask me to come and destroy a functional relationship. You parried yourself as a strong man. And after one fruitless effort, you're giving up. You told me that the husband does not love the wife and that she is your colleague and that you want to separate the relationship because you believe that the husband is going to dump her. You give me an impression that you love her and wants the best for her. That's the truth. She's my colleague and I love her so much. Oh, don't tell me that. After one day, you have gathered enough information to counter my brief to you. That is why I am the master of this game. The come in the mess room. I invested can unmax anything within a few hours. And what and what have you unmaxed? <laughs> Nelly, 
The beauty of the spider web does not depend on its decoration. It is as a trap to its prey and a defense to its predator. That relationship is built on an undiluted love. And men like me that are unlucky when it comes to love are not always happy. Breaking two lovers, you lied to me. I am. I know. I'm not happy you called me a liar. This is the first time I'm asking you to do something. I'm disappointed you're telling me stories. Wait, Nelly. You are not getting any younger. I think you should be thinking of getting a husband yourself. Now leave my presence! You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, what are the tests you took? my company as regard to chemicals. It's right here before me. And I must say that I'm happy with what I'm saying. You actually impressed my chemical engineers and I. Uh, we are very happy. And we, I must say that the future of this company awaits you. A matter of fact, you are what we need in this company. Um, I want to officially welcome you to Dallas. Limited. Thank you, sir. Having said that, I must tell you that uh, this company is built on integrity and fairness to all. Thank you, sir. We will uh, match your zeal with commercial task. And for the fact that you live in Asaba, we built a new plant in Asaba. And I'm making you the head of that plant. So, Mr. Chidi Ibezim. Congratulations, this is your appointment letter. Thank you, sir. And I officially welcome you to Dallas Company. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Welcome to Dallas Company. Thank you, sir. Go away. Thank you, sir. Go away. Woo! Woo! Okay. Please just tell me, what is the excitement about? As you can see, I am not going to put out. I am not going to Yenegua. I'm staying here in Asaba with my wife. That is what the excitement is all about! Woo! I'm so happy. I'm so happy, baby. <laughs> Babe, wait. Woo! What's going on? I'm lost here. Explain to me. Babe, my start on salary is $4,000. They pay me in dollars. They pay me in dollars. And to show you they are not joking, my wardrobe allowance is $200,000 now. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm starting to walk with her. With her. With her. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Babe. Where? Babe. I'm starting to walk with Dallas Chemical Limited. And they made me the head of their new plant established here in Asaba. I'm happy we are made. I know. Thank me. I am telling you the truth as your own brother, and I want you to accept it in good faith. Thomas, I don't. You're my brother, so I don't want to get upset with you. You're acting as if you don't know that Chidi is the only child that I have. <laughs> Are you telling me that? Uh. Am, am I not his uncle? Okay. I know. In his own time, he is going to make all things beautiful. Just wait. Does it mean that if I leave you, you cannot use your brain? You cannot use it, okay? Eh? You just sit down there and pretend. 
pretend that all is well, okay? Why are you getting me confused, mother? Eh? You're sounding as if everything has gone wrong. Why? Everything has gone wrong, and you know it. Everything has gone wrong. Why are you pretending that you don't know that things have gone wrong? I don't, I don't understand what you mean. I don't understand. Fifteen months of marriage. Fifteen months! Your wife has not delivered. No sign of pregnancy. You will never now see what has gone wrong. Let me tell you, if it doesn't bother you, it bothers me. And I intend to do something about it. I'll come and see you over the weekend. Okay, Mama. Okay, no man, And please, I beg you in the name of God, when you're coming, don't come without your wife. Because I need to talk to you, I need to sit you down and talk some sense into you. Nonsense. Masalo, masalo, buze, buze. Wrong. You look like there's something wrong with your mom. There's nothing wrong, my dear. Don't don't bother yourself. It's just being a normal, difficult person. You know, but I will handle that over the weekend. There was this funny way she was looking at me. I tried to smile at her, but. She didn't. See. My love, was this phone call about me? Sweetheart, why are you bothering yourself over my mother's attitude? You know she's a difficult woman. Eh? I am the one you're marrying. You should be concerned about me. Okay? Baby, I know. But I want you to know that your mother plays an important role in our marriage. And we need to find out what her problem is. Mama, if you're being angry with my wife, it's because she's not pregnant. Mama, I tell you your anger means nothing because I am the one that worked it out. You were the what do you mean you were the one that worked it out? Okay, Mama, I am a scientist. I'm not a doctor. Even when I'm not a doctor, I know everything about conception. Mama, the woman I live with, I know exactly when to get her pregnant. I decided not to because I'm not ready. Please, I don't understand what you're talking about. Mama, were you expecting me to get her pregnant when I have nothing doing? She was the one that was making the money we were living on. So I knew exactly when to get her pregnant. Mama, I decided not to because I'm not ready yet. She had better get pregnant. She had better get pregnant too. Else you will not like what I would do. Mama, you're funny. Okay. Let us assume that she was unable to get pregnant. Mama, can't you really? Okay, if you hear me. What will you do? Get it It's a simple matter. I will throw her out. What is it? I'll throw her out. Why do you want her out? You're talking about the woman I wedded in the church. You didn't marry one. You did not marry one. You married a him. Even the church does not allow a man to marry a he. Chidi, let me tell you something. I don't want to get angry. That's why I'm being very calm. You people should not get me angry. Because if you get me angry, you will not like what you will see. I want more Chidi. Mama, you're the one getting me angry now. I'm telling you. I'm assuming you. It's not with him. Hey, Maro. Afraid, for I am harmless. 
I sent you a text message and you did not answer me. Why would I answer you? Do I even know you? Why can't you just leave me alone? I came here because I observed that you and your husband are in love for me. Since you have refused to forgive me, I came to apologize face to face. Okay, sir. Your apology has been accepted. Can you please just leave my office? Oh, Melody. The people that claim that they love you are actually looking for every opportunity to bite at you like the cobra and stick like the bee. Be warned. Nothing, I'm fine. <laughs> Melody, are you hiding something from me? Come on, I'm your colleague and as well as your friend. <laughs> I know you very well. It's written all over you that you're bothered about something. So tell me, what is it? I'm fine, I'm fine. Nothing. It's kind of you don't tell me what the problem is. But it's fine. Outfit. Oh, I'm so tired. I didn't even know when I slept off here. Hmm. Stress, I know. Office stress. Your car stress. That your old car, which your father gave to you years back. You know what? Whenever I see you opening the bonnet of that old car, I feel so bad. I keep asking God, why? God, why? Why can't you just give us a brand new car? Come on, baby. That's not my problem right now. No, it's my problem. Yes, it's my problem. And you know what? Call me. Baby, I'm very tired. All I want to do is just go in and take a hot shower. We are going to shower together. Just come with me. Are we going far? Does it mean you don't trust me anymore? Just come with me. Come, come, come. Come, <laughs> come, come, come. Get up. Come with me. Oh, baby. <laughs> Just come with me. Come yeah. first. They say we should be together. They just don't.
You always claim that you have your senses, but your actions prove otherwise. How on earth will you buy your first car and give it to a woman? Kizito, she's not just an ordinary woman. She's not just a mere woman just like that. I give this car to my wife. A woman that saw the best in me, the love of my life. She saw the best in me and married me when I had nothing. Yes. You see, I have those feelings that uh, she has caged you with those gems that ladies of nowadays toy with. She caged me with love. Undiluted love. And I vowed to do anything in my power to make her comfortable. Yes. <laughs> She didn't get that for my car. <laughs> Baba Kizito. Don't forget that you're talking to branch manager of Dallas Chemical Company Limited. So you should talk to me with respect. I will not talk to you with respect because you don't respect yourself. Okay. 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 Now get down. I'll remember that. Same thing, a beautiful woman with a heart of gold. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. I bless the day I met you. Every day, I find new reasons to love you more and more. And that is what I told Kizito that I will always love you and love you till I die. <laughs> <laughs> you have no equal at all. Baby, mm -hmm. you did it. Did what? What is this? Read it. I'm pregnant. Wow. <laughs> yes. How did you find out? Um, I've been feeling funny for a couple of weeks now, so. I went to see my doctor and he confirmed that I am pregnant! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> We are pregnant! Yes. Hey, take it easy, take it easy, please. Come on, I'm fine! Hey, where's my phone? Let me call my mom. Oh, Go ahead and get my phone. Say, no, please. no, no, you can use mine. Yeah. Ah, I'm so happy. Mm. 
Richard. Hello, Mom. Good. I'm fine. Mom, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for us. It shall be permanent. See, dear, give me. What shall be permanent? What is it that you're not telling me? Talk now. What is it, Chiri Biko? I told you, Mom, that it's going to happen very soon. My wife is pregnant. Awesome news. Oh, oh, oh. God is faithful. I always said it. God is faithful. Hi, God, you're awesome. I thank you, Lord. Yeah. Namo, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this, Chid. Hey, how? When? Yeah, my wife is two months pregnant, and the court doctor has confirmed it that the pregnancy is in the right shape. Mom, rejoice with us. I am rejoicing now. I am already rejoicing. Hey, now, what about your wife? Hmm? She's right here with me. Let me talk to her. Near the phone, let me talk to her. Talk to her. Okay. Hello, Mom. Oh! <laughs> Mello, Mello. Hello, good evening, Mom. Wonderful girl. Mwa Pilaka Wesu. If you know how I talk about you, eh? <laughs> you won't even believe it. I am very proud of you. When I talk about you, people listen. Yeah, because I know your mother trained you well. Yeah, see, now God has blessed you. Hey, Melo! Thank you, Mom. Melo, I am happy that you people have gone to see the doctor. And Pico, you need to register for Atinita. Very, very important. You don't want any complications, so. Mom, we know the importance of the pregnancy. And we cannot leave anything to chances. Okay, mom. Oh, okay, mom. That is good. Eh? But don't worry. Before the month runs out, I'll come and visit you people. Ah, that would be nice, mom. But, mom, I wish you were coming to live here. Oh, my Mbao, that is not possible. I wish I could, mana. You know my little business. If I leave it for that, my sales girl, she will run it down. Eh? But don't worry, I'll come. Eh? I will come. Go. Come. Go, eh? Very soon, my name will become Come and Go. <laughs> Melo, Melo! <laughs> uh, no problem, Mom. We'll be expecting you. Eh? That God is awesome. Oh. Hey, Nemo. Are you looking at me? I'm fine. Okay. Bye. Wow. Hey, this calls for celebration. Let's go. <laughs> ah, baby. Let's celebrate. We are celebrating. Let's go out. No, no, no. Babe, we can't go out. Why? Babe, you know we have lots of enemies around us. So we cannot give them any chance to be close to us. You just made a point. Carefulness is the watchword. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> wow. I want to make a move for the family and a wise move. What exactly do you mean by you want to do a move for the family? What move? You know, when a man loves a woman, he saturates his mind with a lot of thoughts. You all are thinking of that right now. Oh. I love you. I love you with everything in me. I love you with all my heart. You're all that I'm thinking of. I, I, can't, I can't even think of any other thing. I can't even think of any other person. You saturate this memory, this brain. It's all about you. Why do you want to make me cry? I love you too. I love you too, baby. I love you more. Okay, you know what? Come with me. Baby, I'm not well dressed to go out. We're not going far. Just outside. 
Just come on. Okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> he's a boy. He's a boy. He's a boy. Oh my god. Let me show you the moves. They say we should I love houses in this kind of color. But I don't think that means that means you love this house. Who would they like this house? It's beautiful. <laughs> Babe, who has this house and why are you asking me all this question? By his grace, you're going to have your baby in this house. And he is going to grow up in this house. My lord, if you think that I would allow you to rent this house, no way. That's irresponsible. I'll suggest that we still live in the house that we live in and gradually start building our house from there. Melody, my love. You're not dreaming. I started building this house when I started working. I wanted, to, I wanted this house to be a surprise to you. I tangled today that I shot it. We are packing it from here. We're going to bring whatever we need from the other house later. So, this is your house.
Yo que no hay que You mean you did all this without me knowing? You made it possible. My mother said it clearly. Listen to friends and you will die quickly. Thank God I listened to Hello, my love. I am the best because you said so. You are the very best amongst the best. How is the big boy doing? Fine, yeah, everything's fine. I am on the road. Where are you going? Yes, you did. Um, so, are you coming back home? Why not? I will come back. I actually called to tell you that my secretary is on her way to the house. Open the safe in my library and bring out the black briefcase. Open the briefcase and you'll see a file marked which now analysis. Give it to her. But, my love, 
You know I don't know the combination to your safe. That's because you never asked. I will text you the code after the phone call. Please give her the file because she must upload some vital information from it to our chairman. Okay dear, just send me the text and I will get the files ready before she gets here. Alright okay. I love you. I saw everything. Your life insurance was 250 million. And you made me the only beneficiary. Is that why you're shedding tears? You remain the most valuable thing I have. I have your name in everything because you owe everything. What matters to me is your love. Once I have your love, you have everything. In my next life, if there's anything like that. You would be my husband. And I will love you till my last breath. Come on, clean your tears, okay? You're so funny.
together.